Yo, YouTubers, Tazman here, bringing you another episode of Fantasy Grounds from the Ground Up. And I decided to do something just uh, a little bit different than uh, we've been doing, uh, such as uh, we've been doing lots of videos on mod spotlights and stuff like that. Uh, this is actually going to be kind of an update on the status of Fantasy Grounds. So I've jumped over to the testing branch and if any of you don't know how to do that let me know in the comments below and I will uh, maybe make a video on how to switch branches and look at some of the features that are there but the testing branch basically is the branch that they use for ideas and development until they decide to push it to the release branch or the next branch over whatever it is I think I think releases after that uh, but anyway, one of the really cool things that's being introduced into Fantasy Grounds Unity uh, is one of the things that made me think, oh wow, I really like uh, Foundry VTT over it because it actually not only did have line of sight, but it also had vision where you could say, yeah, this person has dark vision of 60 feet. Now, this is still a work in progress, so don't hopefully you don't necessarily think that this is final the way it is um, to be honest it is a little complex but it's also being refined so like I said don't don't take it that this is you know the end all this is just how it is this is still in a sense it's early access lots of things could change and all that so we're gonna talk about this and I think it's got some really cool features uh, that I really like, are really nice. Um, so if we uh, look here, we have uh, just a little map I found online. I put some orcs inside here. Uh, we have a war chief and then we have four orcs and we have an orc out here as well. And if I turn on enable disable player vision, um, and if you don't know how to get here, I don't know if you've seen my other videos, but uh, basically if you have it locked, then that, that panel goes away because you can't do anything in there anymore. Uh, if you unlock it, then you have your options of being in play mode where you can change the different things saying that, uh, you know, I can show or uh, enable disable player vision. So this would show the GM what an individual player is seeing. So here we have Brick, who is based off of a rogue that I have in a real life game that I play. Um, but as you can see, this is what his vi uh, this is what his line of sight is. What we're seeing right here. Um, if we do Crystal here, you'll see that this orc disappears. She can't see him. Um, Brick can barely see him just because he's further out, so he can see him a little bit. You can also see Corfin down here, who is a wizard, and Crystal, who is a... What is Crystal? <laughs> a cleric. Um, so anyway, uh, these are our characters we're going to be using. We're going to be bouncing between um, the GM's view and the player's view. Uh, but anyway, so if we come in here and look at our players, you can see we've we've seen this part before. This is simply the line of sight. Uh, if we move a character around, we can see that obviously because I added walls or environment, what do they call them, structures? Uh, da -da, if we go to walls, you can see all the different walls. If we zoom in, you can actually see the trees. I just quickly did it. Doesn't look really good. Terrain. Terrain's the word I wanted. Uh, and we also have some doors here. Um, so these are what provide us line of sight. If, if oops, I don't want to do that. Uh, go back to play mode. Uh, so basically this is just saying if this character is here and there's a environment thing or a train thing here, uh, they're going to get blocked vision or line of sight. I, I don't want to call it vision for a very specific reason reason um, because we're outside we can see and it's right now the the time of day is roughly you know night uh, if we come in here and we can change it to doo -doo, let's turn it to midday um, so 
you'll see that didn't change our actual uh, line of sight. It's still the same. We can see as far as the eye can see, which is basically uh, the map. If I really wanted to get into things, I could actually have blocked out these, saying that they're bushes. Uh, the trees, obviously, you can see through tree leaves and stuff because they're way up in the air, but you can't see through the trunk. That's why it looks this way. So anyway, this is line of sight, and this has been in the Unity version for ever since it, it kind of first was released as early access. But what we have now is the ability to see what vision of different characters and things are. So like inside this cave system, if I turn off this, you can see we have this elaborate cave system. Uh, you know, and I have some orcs in various places. Um, and this outside ambient light is not going to be inside this cave system. So if I click on an orc here, you'll see because the door's open here, he can see out. But inside here, he can uh, only see what his vision will allow him to see. Now if we go look at an orc, we can see that the default, they have a dark vision of 60 feet. This means that anything uh, that's within 60 feet in pitch black, they actually see as if it's in dim light. However, there is one thing about that is it is black and white. You'll notice in here that everything is black and white or grayscaled. Um, if we switch to this guy, you'll see that this door right here is closed and as you can see if I open it and bring our orc in here you can actually see this is actually in full color that's because we also have a forget which things I need to use we actually have a fireplace here or a fire pit and this is giving regular light out it's kind of a, a torch lighter type of thing so it goes out the 20 feet and then then kind of fades out from there so as you can see, this orc is able to see color here, but outside of his vision, he's only allowed to see grayscale. This whole map is colored, by the way. It's, it's if we turn off, um, do, 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 is it line of sight? Nope, it's that one, I think. You can see this whole map is actually colored. Uh, so this is just diffu um, what's the word? Not diffusing, just, I can't think of the word. I was going to try and sound all smart, but I can't think of the word. Uh, so anyway, this is one of the cool things is if the player actually has these default settings of dark vision in their uh, blind sight, all those different types of things, true sight, devil sight, all that is detected and it will adjust the game accordingly. So if we take, for example, Brick here, who is a human, if we open this door, and allow him to go inside you'll see if we switch to player he sees absolutely nothing because he has human eyeballs however if we take our elf here crystal bring her in she can actually see because she has dark vision so another cool thing we can do with this is we can actually use effects so we can for example I created some effects here there, uh, so for lights, you would just do uppercase light with a colon, the distance, and then the type of light. I don't think we can customize these yet as far as, say, like a spell, you know, the light spell or whatever. Um, but if we were, say, Brick, before he goes in there, he pulls out a candle, you'll see this gives Brick the effect of light five candle duration one. Um, I forgot to change this so it doesn't have duration. So now if Brick comes in here, you'll actually see he can see a little bit. He's able to see five feet from him and then it kind of fades out from there to uh, dim, dim light. So um, this is one of the really cool things I like about this. I mean, he can't see that work until he gets right up on top of him. Uh, we can also use the same kind of idea to give Brick uh, dark vision or the light cantrip. So Corfin here, he has the ability to cast light, right? Whoops, that was the wrong one. I wanted to click on this and disable that. So you can actually have it so your characters, you know, if they're carrying a torch 
and they you can add an effect to said torch um, in fact let's go do that let's see if we can do that oh he doesn't have a torch uh, let's go ahead and add a torch real quick we'll just say consumables c-o-n s-u-m-a-b-l-e-s -E whoa I didn't hit back did I c-o-n s-u-m a-b okay so let's say he has a torch from his his uh, backpack or whatever if we go and add into this and say add an action add an effect all we would have to do is say okay so bricks pulling out a torch um, whoops I don't want to click there we want to click here we want to say L I D H T colon and then a torch uh, what is it gives you is it 30 and 60 so if, I'm gonna make it so we can really see it so I'm gonna say maybe 20 uh, and we're gonna call this torch so it's going to parse that torch and know what type of light it is. Uh, the torch, let's say it lasts for an hour. So let's go and say one hour and then it kind of burns out or whatever. I don't know that an hour duration really is tracked in the game. Uh, this is more informational. However, one round, uh, end to turn, that kind of stuff definitely is tracked in the game. Uh, let's see there's a target it expends never so I think we're all good there so now we have a nice torch for brick here and if brick wants to pull out his torch all I'd have to do is drag it onto himself or drag it onto the token and now if brick comes in here you'll see he has a nice torch going and you'll see that it even has this little flicker effect. I don't know if you can really see that on YouTube because of compression and stuff. I think you could see it a little better on the fire. When when the distance is less, you can actually see it better. So um, let's go ahead now that we've talked about different types of vision and stuff, what it all means. So in game, let's go look what it looks like in game now. So here we have brick with his torch now um, and if he comes inside here oh I forgot to do this this is another thing I forgot to mention uh, well actually this is new now uh, you can really quickly enable disable um, your your player movement so and you'll also notice that if I move and click on it again and again it actually tells me the distances of each of those things um, so if I come in here as the GM, one cool thing, it used to be that you'd have to right click on this and then click that. Now it has this little check and this little uh, either approve or disapprove. So if we want to approve that move, we just click that little check now and he will go do his whole move, which is really cool. Um, what I wanted to show there was basically Brick came in here in game actually I'm gonna turn off the lock we can actually do that two places if we have the edit mode open where the whole map isn't locked and we can use this we can do it right here there's the little toggle lock also there's a new button right here that says toggle lock so we can turn it off right there and come back in here so now if we move brick in here you can see he can see the light he can't go through the door because it's closed um, but he can go everywhere else without an issue and anywhere that there isn't light he cannot see now if we zoom in really close you can actually see that he can see I don't know if you can see this on YouTube once again but it is using fog of war it's not completely black we can actually see right here are those little wooden steps I guess I don't know what they were uh, and so if he comes up here there they are right there so we can do that now the other thing I wanted to show you is let's go ahead and lose this this is going to basically be the exact same thing uh, but just show you how you can use it to make it a little cooler so if we oh I can't remove that effect I can turn it off actually I can't here it's in keep forgetting what mode I'm in so I could actually turn it on or off uh, or just delete it but um, if we go in here 
as another player. We have Corfin here, who's a, uh, I think he's a wizard or sorcerer. Uh, if we go into his character sheet, we can see that he has the light cantrip. And I've done the same thing. I did what we did with that torch. I created an effect for it. The default is with light, just has this save part. It does not have uh, the actual effect. I added that myself just by right clicking, going to add action and say effect. And that added a second one. The reason this has the, the save is because if a target is not willing to have light cast on it, if it's an enemy, they might not want it. They have a DC 13. Uh, so anyway, we're going to take this effect, go into, what is it, combat and actions. We're going to drag that onto brick. And now you'll notice it actually light, uh, lit up a little bit. And now Brick has that torch effect on him again. Um, now my question is, can that be taken off or is it always... Yeah, he can actually take that off because the GM didn't put it on him. So anyway, now he has that effect once again. All right, so let's talk a little bit about... Um, about this stuff. We're at 16 minutes. So inside as GM, I'm going to close this for now because I don't think we need those anymore. Uh, but inside uh, our map, when we unlock it, we have the options, as you can see here, uh, that we've always seen. And we've gone over a lot of these in past videos. However, there's this new lighting one. And under lighting, we have where we can select a light, because right here we actually have a light that we've placed. If we drag over that, you'll see we just selected it, which is actually this light right here. Um, so we can select a light. Um, we can add lights. We could say, you know what, there's also going to be a torch maybe on this wall. So if we want to add a light, we could come in here and where am I looking? So if we come in here, I think we just click there and now we have a light source. So we can change its brightness and, and all that fun stuff. Let's make this just a little light. So maybe 10 uh, for the bright and 20 for the dim. We can also have the fall off. The fall off is how far that light, oops, control Z. Don't want that second light. Um, actually, I might not want that light either. Let's click on that one real quick and delete it. So um, here we have our new light. Let's just call this torch. And we can change the fall off for this light. So right now, um, it's 25, which doesn't make sense uh, for the bright. So let's go ahead and maybe make the uh, bright fall off like five. And maybe this one will be uh, 20, I think. We can also set it to be a dark light where it's kind of like the darkness spell instead. If we click on that, it will force darkness. So if we come in here, did I turn that one on? Enable. Do, oh. oh, I don't have. Uh, is it? Because I don't have any of this stuff yet. So we can set it to flicker, which you won't really be able to see. Pulse, you might be able to see a little better. Right now, the color is black, so let's change it to kind of a yellow color. I'm kind of confused why I'm not seeing all the color and stuff. Oh, I was on the wrong light. Uh, let's select it real quick. And then change to pulse. There we go. This is this is the part where I said right now it's a little confusing. Uh, they're really good at making sure that by the time it's actually in a release state that it's decent. So with pulse here, we can actually have the speed of it you know, uh, make it 
that, make it dark. Uh, now if we click on darkness, you can see it's actually a negative light. Um, boy, it didn't like doing that, did it? Did it, we unselect it? Oh, because that, that changes color or something? I am not sure why all of a sudden you can't see the light at all. How about flash? Torch. Okay, we broke this light by doing darkness. Um, let's create a new light and just see if we can make it work right here. So if we do that, let's go ahead and delete it. We'll, we'll create a new one and try again. Uh, go to add light. Go ahead and add one right there. Uh, and then, oh crud, it's a darkness light. I didn't want that. All right, let's delete. I thought every time I added a light, it put it down here, but that's not quite working like I thought it did. So add a light, let's go ahead and put it here. Turn its color to yellow. Is there... I'm really... I'm sorry, I'm being confused now. This is not working the way it did when I was doing all my testing. Okay, wait, it says color again. Okay. Uh, we have the 10, 25, 20. Let's see if this will work. Okay, ignore me. This was working before I got in here. Um, not sure why it's not working now. Um, I'm probably going to have to look at this. Now I'm... Well, this is what happens when you try and delete lights. So if we select it. Let's try this again. So select light color. Is it the alpha? No, it's not the alpha. On and off. Flickering none. Dang it. Well, I guess we could still do more of the, re the rest of the stuff, but the light I'm not able to get working. I'm not exactly sure why. Um, I'll see if I can find anything out about it. And it's not this, is it? Because this is the add light part. So if I were to add a light, making it yellow, will that work? Well, it's yellow. On, off. Am I missing? interesting too that it didn't last time it added a layer this time it is putting it all under campfire that's a painting layer I'm afraid to touch that so I'm not gonna touch that um, so let's just move on because uh, clearly unfortunately this is not working Let's go ahead and delete that one and delete that one. So let's move on uh, to token light. So what we can do with token light is, for example, with Brick here, um, we had him where he was, uh, oh, actually, let's use Corfin. Let's uh, select Corfin as our token. And we're going to give him a light source. 
So uh, let's see if this will work when we do that. Oh, I don't want to hit the darkness. <laughs> I think I broke something really bad. Uh, so we have him selected, which is what we need. Uh, we come in here and we can add the range. Let's go look on our other map. Maybe it's actually doing it there. So Corfin. Let's put, can he go through the door? I, yeah, he can. All right, so he has dark vision. So um, let's go ahead and add a light. Okay, so we have him. We need to go set up our thing. Now, a cool thing, so Corfin, with the light cantrip, you can actually choose a color. Let's say he chooses kind of a magenta color or whatever. Um, we could choose to have it more transparent or not. Let's let's have it fairly transparent. Say okay. Let's go ahead and do let's do ten and twenty and we'll try this again at maybe five is the fall off and fifteen. I don't know. We're just guessing. Um it'll be a flickering with a I don't know what the speed should be. That darkness is highlighted again. I don't like that. Um, and then let's go ahead and add that to our character. So now you can see we have this very sharp. Oops. I need to do this again. Oh, actually, when you go over here. So now you actually can see Corfin has this light that is attached to him because he's he's got this uh, the light. Uh, cantrip cast on himself with a specific color in mind. If we go back in here, we got him selected again. Uh, I guess it ignored our flicker. The pulse is more obvious what's going on. Uh, let's do, that's really abrupt. Fall off on the bright light. Let's make it 10. Or nine. Oh, let's see, because I think that's the blend. Uh, let's do nine and see what that does. And then pulse. There we go. So now he's got this pulsating light going on with him. Uh, fall off. Okay, well, it's kind of working now, so a little bit, but don't touch darkness. Bad, bad news harp happens with darkness. So now we have this. We can use the presets, which actually will, you know, give a default value. So this is the torch, bright, fall off is 9, 40, fall off is 18. Okay, so we want that to be less than that, which we did have. And that less than, okay. Uh, anyway, um, so as you can see, you have these, these, there's a lantern, you know, we could give it a nice flicker as well. I don't know, you can kind of see it bouncing right there. So you can add token light. As uh, with token light, you can also add, so we still have them selected, let's go ahead and remove his light. Now we're back to dark vision. We can also add type of vision. So his default on his character sheet showed he had dark vision. However, we could give him blind sight. Uh, we could give him true sight. Uh, you can't really add any sights right now, I don't think. Add vision. I think that just adds it to the token. But, uh, you know, there's other ones like devil sight and things like that. So you can also add those to your character. Uh, of course, sight isn't going to give you lots of uh, lots of options as far as brightness and stuff like that. But uh, it, you know, and I'm sure they will add more like devil sight. Uh, they had blind sight. What are some others? I can't think off the top of my head. So there is that. Ever since we've had that little issue with the light, I'm kind of flustered now. So I apologize for that. 
if we move him back out here where he was uh, the last thing I want to show is the ambience you know so if we go back under here to light we can go under the little Sun here this is the ambient lighting and uh, if we turn off line of sight we'll be able to see this a little better so let's go in here disable line of sight so we don't have that so a neat thing about this is this is your ambient lighting so this won't happen look that one's on now I'm really confused uh, but I think where you'll see this the most is with these trees um, if we go play with these ambient lightings because these are considered terrain and our cave you, you might even see it a little bit on the cave here but this will simulate the Sun moving across the side uh, the sky so if we come in here we can always do it manually as we've said before um, if we use the presets we can actually say okay this is what it look like at dawn and you'll see now these trees are actually casting shadows in different directions this is uh, I guess the Sun is kind of over here rising up because we have a shadow there shadow there uh, and these are you know we can change the direction if we went manual you can also see that the cave wall here is casting a shadow we can change the length of them now this will undo the preset if we do this but you can go in and change your things actually this is not the right shadow this is probably someone has light going off of them is it still Corfin? there's a brick I think this grayish color is still from brick maybe yes he has a light 20 torch there we go for a minute I wasn't able to figure that out so you can see these shadows will be however you want them so it has the presets which means at dawn you have this the the ambient light is kind of this reddish orangish yellowish color and the shadows are kind of this bluish grayish color if we switch over to sunlight now this is the sun's right above you so there really isn't much of shadows because it's right above you and casting straight down then we have down at dusk you'll see the shadows are a very light gray you can kind of see them casting off in this direction because the Sun is now setting uh, once again if we move them you can actually see that there are the shadows there and the ambient lighting turns kind of this orangish color orangish -ish. Um, and then finally we could go to uh, moonlight which is really dark at night you know this is the moon is the thing casting shadows and you really can't see these ones they're super short shadows but if you look really close it's just right there I think if I move it you can see it a little bit or at least see the movement and see where they are and of course our walls also are casting that so I know this was kind of a scatterbrained video and I apologize for that I'm gonna look into what the lighting thing is and see if I can figure that out because it was working perfectly I mean I got my little campfire here working great um, but then of course when I get on camera it does not want to work properly so I like I said I apologize for that hopefully even despite that you enjoyed the video if you did be sure to leave a thumbs up down below uh, comment like subscribe follow me on Twitter check out my discord and my other channels don't forget about telling everyone you know about my channel come check it out if they like it they can subscribe we'll grow this channel that's that's the goal there we just want to grow the channel have lots and lots of people so we can have lots of feedback lots of comments it'll be great and that's it until next time I'll be seeing you later bye